Okay, I'm going to record this pretty quick. I had already taken profit on this position. Um, this is the Euro. Well, let me say this. First of all, today is the 24th, and you're going to hear noise in the background watching the Miami Heat versus the Boston Celtics. Uh, this is game four. Hopefully Boston uh, wins, because if not, it's a clean sweep. So anyway, the reason why I said that is because any time, even if you're watching this a year from now, you'll be able to go back to your own charts and verify what I'm showing. And this is off the four-hour time frame. This is the Euro NZD. And the Euro just, I'm sorry, the NZD just came out with interest rate news. And you see this thing pop, pop, pop. Now, I was in multiple positions, but this one I got last yesterday. And you can see my entry was so clean. I said, oh, my God. I already had closed out before the news of the positions. And I just held on to this last one, which is a half a lot or so. Um, but you can see I'm up 228 pips on this one. Now, this one here, and let's do the math, 228 pips, 228. Uh, two, I'm sorry, 238, 244, yeah, I believe. 244 on EN. Okay, that's the next one. Let's go to ENZD, JPY. I had uh, uh, big positions on this one. I closed out most of them. You can see why I took the trade off the four hour time frame. This is the sexy analyst uh, doing this thing with the combination of simplicity. Uh, but the uh, bottom line is, uh, this is from the four hour time frame. You can see I'm up to 157 pips on that one. Let me write that down, and that's NJ. And I took this particular trade on yesterday because it hit my, you know, the zones, uh, my support and resistance levels, everything you can see. Yeah, I mean, with these systems that we put together, it's almost a no-brainer. It's no way you can't see this stuff. So I'm not going to really go into breaking down everything, but I have multiple positions on. You can see this entry is so freaking clean. I just left most of, I just left this half a lot running and closed out the others. But now the news came out on NZD with their, um, interest rate news, and so therefore, this is why it's dropping. Oh, it's 160 pips now. 160. Okay, so I'll be 160 on that, and that probably means Euro NZD is higher. I'm at 253 on that one, 253 pips. I'm doing this so I can count these numbers, and I'm showing you guys a lot of you guys are struggling trying to win the prop firm challenges. You got a poor trading system, no mentorship. And you don't know what you're doing, and so you're losing. All right, so let me go to something else. Um, I've been holding this position since yesterday. CAD, you can see why I took the trade on the sale. And I'm still, I closed out multiple positions when it dropped down earlier today. You see it hit support and came back up. And so I'm still holding that. And I'm up 46 pips on CAD, JPY. So let's add that in. CAD, JPY. And that is, what, 44 pips. We'll just say 45 because it's at 44.8, 45 pips on that one. Now, let's go to another set of trades I'm in, which is the UJ, UJ, Euro, JPY. And you can see I'm up 109 pips. It was actually more than that as well, because I was actually in multiple more positions. And I had sent this signal out to the group last night. And so we won some trades on that one. This one, we also won. Oh, my God, if we would have held on longer to this trade. We, I sent a signal out on this one as well, and we want some money on this one. But, oh, my freaking gosh. Oh, jeez. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, to be honest with you. I know this thing could go further. Uh, but when you up 200 and something pips like that, you know what? Why don't you just take some money off the table? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close out most of this and just leave the rest running. So as you can see, I have 53, so I'm going to close out 43 of it. And hit that and close that money, take that money. So now, see how I close the trade out without ever even moving my stop loss or take profit. Now I'm going to move this up here. And I'm good to go with a dying piece left on this position. So I'm good there. Let's go to NZD, JPY. Uh, and let me take some money off the table there. I'm up 164 pips. I still like what I'm at, but I'm going to take some money off the table on that one as well. Um, and again, if you're struggling to pass the prop firm challenges, again, all you have to do is sign up for our signal service and we can send out some alerts to you and you can win uh, some pretty good trades. I think we're up eight and two this week and it's only Tuesday. Uh, if you want a full trading system, because maybe your freaking trading system is just raunchy and it doesn't work, to be honest with you, then you know what? Sign up for our simplicity service uh, or get the sexy analyst, you know, either one. I like to use them both in, in combination, but it's totally up to you. This right here is the bare bones uh, simplicity. I'm sorry, sexy analyst. 
But if you add to simplicity, when you drop down for lower time frames, you get the arrows and the other confirmations that goes along with that. So if you combine the two, you'll see why a lot of people in our group are actually passing the prop firm challenges left and right. Either they're using the same trading system I'm showing you along with the simplicity or they're using our signal service. Either way it goes, you know, think about it. Here's the deal. I want you guys to keep this in mind. The prop firm challenge, and I'm doing a 100, 100K challenge. This is actually a prop firm account right here. Uh, for 100k, right? So the bottom line is, think about it. If you're doing 80-20 split on, and they want you to do 10% a month, that's basically you do, you know, if you do $10,000, which is 10% a month, then you get to make and keep 8,000 of the $10,000 with a lot of these prop firms. $8,000 and you telling me you can't buy a proper trading system? You telling me you can't pay 69 cheap freaking bucks to get some signals? And you can potentially make $8,000 a month. Are you freaking kidding me? But again, you who am I? Who am I? The math does not make sense to me. But again, I'm just going to continue. Oh, look at that. I'm now 173 pips. 173 on NJ. Y'all seeing this live. That's why I'm doing this. Live. Okay. So I'm going to switch that to 173 on that one. That will put this one higher as well at 270 now. Instead of 253, that's 270. Boom. All right, so let's do some math. I'll pull up this calky dowky. You know, I, there was a, a company that's, you know, saying, hey, we can help you pass the prop firm challenge when we're going to, you know, automate it with a robot. And you, I looked at that thing, man, they wanted like four or $5,000. I'm like, what the freaking heck? <laughs> but people were paying to buy the droves. That's my whole point. So, again, you know, you do what you want to do, but we ain't charging nowhere near that but if that's what y'all want to do go right ahead but this to me makes more sense and till the total which i am seeing is 597 pips total okay add three more it would have been 600 which by the way later on uh, you know i'm about to take some more trades some and um and uh you know see what i can scurry up that's what i like to call it now oh they did it Look at that breakdown right below support. This is why you want to wait until after the Asian session. Okay. Because see, this is what they do. This is how they stop hunt people. This is good for me. I love it because now they done broke through, used the Asian session, so false support, hit the stops, and then they bring it back in. That's lovely. That's what you want to see. Look at that. Oh, what up? Oh, this ain't my take profit. That's what happened. I was in this one too. Dang, this one already closed out. Hit my take profit. So you can easily see these things. Get what I'm saying? How can you not have seen that? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. See, I'm still holding this one. I'm holding this one. I ain't gonna let it go. I think I better let it go. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. boom. So you gotta wait for London to see if this, see, this is a beautiful support level right here. How can you not see it right there? Very, very beautiful. Uh, what you can do is take a nibble position on it. Uh, but if, pot, if, 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 if was a fifth, huh? I'm going to put it below the ADR, the average start. All right. And that will put me at a risk of 28 pips for $280 with a standard lot. But if it goes all the way up to this level here, which you can see the cluster right here. You can see that level, okay? Or I can bring it up to the 78.6 Fibonacci, which you guys get, it's automated. Uh, the Fib levels are automated in the sexy analyst trading system. You don't have to do it with the man, you know, this mechanical way. It's built in, okay? So if I do it to that, that's a three to one basically because I'm risking 280 to get 660, okay? But I'm not gonna go heavy on it because London hasn't opened yet, but you can see why I'm picking it. See that? Boom, boom. So if they do pop through, do a stop hunt, then, you know, I'm expecting it to go back up. So I don't want to go too heavy because London has an open. Look at that support. See how it comes all the way down to that support on the full hour? That's what I like. I like when they jerky, jerky it around back to a major support level. But the key is you want to see if they're going to try to pop it through because that's what they do. They try to pop it through to take out the stops. Okay. Woo, look at that thing. That is pretty. 245 now, okay? Oh, look at this one. See, this is pretty. I like these here. See how it comes around, come down, double support, 
Love those. See, it's just no way you can't see these trades. That's my whole point. How can you not see them? They're right there in your face. Okay, so when I'm taking trades and I use a very comfortable stop loss, average is 60 pips for me, 50, 60 pips, it's fine. Uh, unless I don't trust the position, then I may use a little bit tighter, but not too tight because, like I said, they'll poke, the, they'll poke through support. Let me go back to this and show y'all. See how they poke through? See, see how it's doing it right now as we speak? I'm going to get them. What's my, okay, 1.66 is what I can do. Okay. To keep my trade at 1%, see if I were with a 60 pip stop loss, risking 1%, I can do on this account 1.66 lot. Okay, boom. So I'm gonna take that trade. I love it. See, they see how they sucker people. Here's your support. They'll break it down below that, and then boom, it hit this level of support, which is on the trend line. Same thing here. See how it's turning green already? Got him. See that? See, it broke through support and then took off and never came back. Then they did it up here. See, they put this level, broke through support, stop hunt, and then came all the way back down. So look, they did the same thing again. Broke through support, boom, and then now it's taken back off. Got gotcha. y'all. <laughs> so when you learn how to play the game that they're playing, it makes it a lot easier because now you understand why. Uncle P is always telling you, be patient. Don't be in a rush to take the trade. Don't be in a rush to take the trade. And some of y'all just don't listen. You're so stubborn. And your stubbornness is why you're not progressing. Are you understand what I'm saying? You being stubborn and not checking news. Did you check the news? Did you check the news? See? I tell y'all that all the time, too. I've been teaching classes. But look at that NZD just dropped. Major, major, major move down to the downside. Woo! See? But some of y'all lost your trade. Why? Because you didn't check the news. You're stubborn. You're hard-headed. You're hard-headed. Okay? I want to show y'all this one that I missed. Oh! That was the NASDAQ. I missed it last night. Look at that. Oh! Let me drop that to a lower time frame. Oh! Look at that. Oh! Woo! Now, see, this is hitting that support level. See? See it? It's hitting support, so it'll probably pop back up. See that? You can't, how can you not see it? So it probably will pop back up to try to recover some of that. Okay? Because it did drop a bit. So I may dip on this one a little bit later. Let me contemplate, but I like the ones I got thus far. But this one is just, oh, I like when they do that. Oh, I just like it. I like it. I like it. I like it like that. I can put it below this level here. All right, and if I put it below that level, you can look over here. I'm risking about $400, and it's going to be a 25 pip stop loss, which is not bad, but I'm putting it below the second level of support. See, here's the first level it broke through, stop hunt, and then they'll pull it back in, but I'm going to put it below the second level. So in case it comes down, it'll touch right here, boom, boom, and go back up, because I think U.S. got a lot of news coming out tomorrow. Let me check my calendar. I'm just talking to y'all, huh? Like I ain't got nothing better to do. I'm missing the game. So tomorrow is Tuesday. The manufacturing numbers come out. Uh, NZD interest rate news just came out. Um, so that's why that spiked. Um, so that's Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. FOMC is going to be running their mouth. And then you got the um, inflation rate by GDP. See, look at that. See how it turned green? Got him. See, I know I'm waiting for this to happen. I'm waiting for them to break through. Right during the Asian session, that's when they send, tend to sit it on support and then break it through to take out the stops. Liquidity runs is what they call it. Look at how they did it there. See what I'm saying? Broke it through and came right back and snatched it and took off all the way down. What was How far was that, by the way? Sucker move. Got him. 228 pip move. Then they did the same thing here. See, this was where everybody's stop loss was, keeping it real tight. But they came through and broke through. See what I'm saying? And by how many pips? Because I told my students it's an average of about 20, 10 to 20 pips. And that's 14 pips on that one. And let's check this one here. You would have been here. And that's about 20. See? 20 pips. You see that number in the middle? Drop the last number, 205. Look the number in the middle. It's 205. But drop the number in the middle and that give you 20 pips. 20 pips on the point. And look at what they did. They stopped hunting people by 20 pips, got the liquidity run, and now this thing probably going to shoot up and not come back, just like they did on this one. Look at that. 
That's why I got that scraper paper. Scraper paper. I want this thing to come all the way down. See what I'm saying? Break through these levels of support right here. Come all the way down. You retest it. You show, okay, this is a stable level like it was back here. See how they came down? Shot down, took people out. See that? And then it just never came back. Okay? Just never came back. Okay? So here's what they do. You see this level? It did stop, pop, and shoot back up. Most people would have said, okay, hey, I'm going to get it right here. But what they do, they shot it up, took it up to the upside. Now, this is the Euro NZD on the four hour. So this is more pips. But you can see what they did. And then they hit the next level of resistance. And then boom. And then they tried to do the same thing here. You see that? Boom. And then took off. But the bottom line is, I'm on rails, on these rails. You know, these trend lines. Ooh, just absolutely love it. Just absolutely gorgeous. So, God am. Y'all tried to play me, I played you. Got him. See, I'm already positive. All right, you guys, I didn't mean to even have this video go that long. I'm excited. So, again, if you want to join us, you can either do the signal service or you can just purchase our trading systems and trade on your own. That's fine. If you get the simplicity system, you can actually be in class with me every single week, every Wednesday. But if you buy the signal service, you'll be in trading with We'll send you signals, but you can also trade live with Miss Jenny, the six-figure coach, uh, twice a week through the signal service. Okay, either way it goes, it's highly affordable. It's just no reason why you won't do it. Um, if you really are serious about time, uh, you know, trading for you know full time, and also trying to process these proper challenges, or you can keep beating yourself across the head and trying on your own, do your own thing. Again, who am I? I ain't your boss, but I'm just telling you, this is what we do here. See you in the next video.